All right, so this is just gonna be an installation video for this Toto Washlet um, T1SW2024 number zero one for elongated toilets. Our toilet isn't elongated, I don't think, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, anyways, I got this from Costco because it was on sale, and we're gonna see. This bathroom usually gets cold down here, so hopefully the heated seat will be nice. All right, so you can take a look at all this. They actually have a do-it-yourself thing, but I figured I'll make a video of my own because I did the same thing for a faucet I installed and people liked it. So we'll see how this goes. Here you can see all these stuff on the box. If you want, you can pause and read it. All right, I try and show everything because most people don't. So it'll be something if you're looking for this information, you can find it, okay? And there's in another language. I'm gonna stop my toilet from leaking real quick first, but there's all this stuff. All right, hold on, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So you're gonna need an outlet, of course. I think all this other information on the sides is basically the same, so we're just gonna skip over it. If you need the UPC number for some reason, there's that. Okay, and oh, here we go. Okay, let's show the bottom here. Oops, hold on, let me pause this. Okay, so this has more information on it that might be useful. There you go, it shows installation requirements, what you need, the distance between the holes. Hopefully the toilets already are like this, so I won't know until I actually go and install it because I didn't measure it, but we'll see. And then you need an outlet. Okay, it says it wants a GFCI outlet. Here's what's in the box. Stuff is falling over, mounting bracket, remote. Okay, the connector. Measuring. I don't know why we would need measuring tape, but um, yeah, it says a drill, measuring tape, a wrench, and screwdriver. So I just brought a bunch of tools, but we'll see if I need to get other things. So this connector here looks kind of small compared to the one on our toilet. Here you can see what the remote has. So it does front and rear, and the heated seat, I guess it just does on its own. You can't adjust that. Okay, and then you can adjust the position for two different users. Okay, so anyways, here's what our toilet... So this connector looks pretty big, so I guess we'll see... Oh, that's kind of dusty and gross under there. I'm going to clean that up later. But um, yeah, alright. So we're going to open up the box and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so first thing of course, peel up this tape. Alright, I'm going to let this drop forward. Okay. There we go. And then we're just going to pull this thing up. It up. Oh, and there's a box in the box, so we're gonna need some scissors or something to cut that. All right, so hold on. Get some scissors. All right, got some scissors here. So we're gonna cut this open. You don't want to cut too deep, of course, because then you might cut whatever's inside. All right, so we're just gonna cut this up. And we'll cut this up. I can't do this with one hand. There we go. Okay, so we got this box open. Ah, everything is loose inside, so it looks like you don't want to shake this box up too much, or everything's going to fall all over the place. This looks like the mounting bracket. Okay. Alright, there's some nice rubber gasket seal stuff on this. We'll see. We got the remote here. It comes with two batteries. Okay, it's all bubble wrapped up, and I think that's the mounting bracket for the wall. Um, I don't think I'm gonna stick that on my wall. I'm gonna drill holes. We'll see what I. We'll see. And here's this. Okay, so oh, I guess it will fit. Okay. So there's the little T bracket washer thing for the toilet. Okay, we'll pull this aside. So I'm showing the reason I'm showing this whole unboxing thing is in case you decide you want to return it, you can see how everything was in the box and you can put it all back. Some people get annoyed that I show everything, but uh, you can just fast forward if you don't want to see it. All right. It also helped me if I have to put it back. So we got all this random paperwork here. What is this? Okay, I'm only going to show the English part if there's one. So this is just safety precautions. Again, you can just fast forward over this stuff if you don't care. Um, I don't think I'm going to read any of this because this one is probably very simple. Just install. Okay. Let me see here. Alright, hold on. I'm going to pause. I'll be back. 
Okay, so I just read this over real quick, and the only important stuff I see is, um, of course, don't exceed the electrical outlet capacity. So um, most outlets in the U.S., I think it's like a 1800 watt out where it'll trip the circuit breaker. So if you're using like a hair dryer and then heating, maybe the seat's heating, I don't know, it can possibly um, trip the circuit breaker. So if for some reason your outlets stop working, just keep that in mind if you're plugging them both in the same area to the bathroom. All right. And then the other one, of course, don't switch around the power cables if you get like an aftermarket different power cable or something. And also it says not to install it in um, moving vehicles like boats or RVs. All right, everything else you don't really need to know. All right, we'll toss that aside. Everything else is should be common sense. All right, let's go over this. I'm gonna look at that real quick and I'll be back. All right, so let's start opening stuff up here. We got the remote, okay. We're just gonna pop this stuff apart. Looks like there's tape holding underneath here, the batteries. I don't know what you're gonna be able to see. Hopefully you can see whatever you need. Okay, again, you can just fast forward over all this stuff. I'm just opening everything up just to show what it looks like. Got this thing taped here. This has the screw for the mounting into the wall, all right? The mounting bracket is actually already attached to the remote, just like that. So, huh, the remote has like a little screen here with a menu. So I thought it was just this stuff, but I guess there's a whole bunch more things to it, okay? Um, and the remote, okay, I see. There's like a magnet in it, so that's kind of cool. It's The remote is magnetized. So it actually it holds on to that bracket with a magnet. Okay. And it has actually a lot of controls here. So I didn't know it has all that. I thought this was like touch screen. Oh, okay. It has click buttons. All right. So we're going to set that aside. We got the screws for this bracket here. And I'm not sure what this plastic piece is for, but we'll see when we go over the instructions. All right. We'll set that aside. And there's this super thick instruction manual. I don't know if I'm going to go over all that. I guess I'll just quickly go through the pages so that anyone that wants to see it can go see it. Other than that, you can just fast forward through. All right, I'm going to open this up. I just have some tape on the back here. Okay, of course, I'm only going to show the English one because there's so many different language ones. Okay, so this, this thing comes with three different instruction manuals. Okay, we're going to close that up, and let's see what's inside, alright? Again, you can just fast forward over this, sorry, I know most people don't care about this part, um, but yeah, for the people that do care, I just want to include it. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go over this whole thing. You can pause and read whatever you want. Okay. So if you accidentally threw away your manual and for some reason you needed this, here you go. I'll probably read over it and then I'll go over the most important stuff if there's anything important in here that you guys need to know. But for now, I'm just going to quickly show all the pages. Seems a little fuzzy. There we go. Again, I'm going to read over the thing and then I'll tell you if there's any important stuff. <clears throat> but if you want to see all the instructions, you can go ahead and read through. Just pause if you can't read fast enough. This has to save the instructions here. Most people don't even read this stuff. They just try and figure it out themselves and then they screw stuff up.
course, you don't want to plug in anything until you fully install it. So this shows the basic operations of the remote. I didn't know it had so many settings on the back of the remote. Hmm, deodorizer. You can see all the settings. So as always unplug it before doing maintenance or inspection of course. Do not use dry cloth because it can damage it. Okay, dry cloth can actually scratch the stuff, the plastic. After this booklet, we're going to install it, so... Antifreeze, interesting. I don't know if my toilet will reach the outlet, but we'll see. Hopefully it does. I 
I don't think this one has the warm air drying. So it uses about 408 watts. The other one uses 300. I'm not sure which model specifically. There you go. It's, I forgot which one this one was. I think it was the 24, so I think it's about 292, 300 watts. And the warranty. Alright, so I'm going to read over this, and then if there's anything that sticks out, stands out to me that's more important, I will let you know, okay? I will be back. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, if you're cleaning it, make sure to get a cloth, get water on it, and then twist it out tightly, and then wipe it. If you use a dry cloth, it'll scratch up the plastic and can damage it. Alright, it also says not to lean on the toilet lid. Okay, so this thing says, do not touch the power plug during thunderstorms because doing so may cause electric shock. And then over here, it says, wait, where's that? Problem, <laughs> disconnect the power plug if there's a risk of lightning. So you're going to have to predict when lightning will happen and unplug it. But then if there is lightning, you don't want to touch it because then you can go, okay, whatever. All right, so we're going to continue. Okay, it says, don't use a toilet seat cover or toilet lid cover. So it says, do not place anything on the toilet seat and lid, and do not press them with hands. So you might accidentally turn on the seat, and then it can spray the water. So I guess it's not so much that it will break it, it's more that it'll detect that someone's sitting on it, and then it'll allow it to spray. Okay, if you live in areas where it gets freezing, um, it doesn't where I do, but it says not to use the energy saver option and try and keep the bathroom warm okay and then also it says to close the shut off valve and things like that so this is important if you live in areas where it can get free below freezing so if you live in areas where it gets below freezing make sure that you read all of this just to protect yourself from having your toilet explode if for some reason you plan to not use the toilet for a long time it tells you how to drain the water and things like that Okay, from the system. I think that's so like mold and stuff won't build up inside it or algae or whatever. And they also say you can put antifreeze in the water. Hmm. Okay. Alright, and then if you have any issues, you can read the troubleshooting stuff. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and install this. So, first main thing, when you take it out, it tells you not to lift it by the seat, lift it by the back, okay? So, first we're going to show how to remove the toilet seat that's already installed in there. Alright, so let me do that real quick. Let me pause this. Alright, so the instructions assume that the toilet seat's already off, so I'm going to show this just in case people don't know how to remove their toilet seat. So, first thing under here, where you got this bolt, so this one has a special sliding mechanism for installing this, so it's easier. This one, we can lift this up, and then I think, if I remember correctly, we can slide this toilet seat off. Let me double check. Let me put the camera here. Hopefully it won't fall down. But once I lift this, I can... Oh, yep. Okay, so we can slide this off, and it comes out pretty easily. So that's a nice um, design for this toilet seat. I know our toilet's kind of gross, the drain has like some brown junk in it, but ignore that. That doesn't matter which toilet you got. Alright, so you got that. Most people's toilets, unless they're newer, won't have this design. So we're going to have to just remove the bolts separately, okay? So I'll show how to do that. Let me pause this. Okay, so when we installed this one, it had a nice um, breakaway little bolt. Not there. Where's the plastic one here? Okay, so it had a nice breakaway bolt that you just tightened it as tight as you could until it broke off. But now we're going to have to take this out. This piece, it has like some flat areas, so you can actually use a socket to remove it. Um, let me see what size socket this is. But if you don't have a socket, you can use a, a wrench. So I got a wrench like this, okay? So something just like this. You just got to get it to the right size. 
All right, this is tough to do with one hand. And then just to prevent damage to that, I like to wrap it with like a piece of paper or something. So I just got an envelope and then you can use that to grab with the wrench and turn it. But I'm gonna see if I can use a socket first. So I'll be back and see what size socket I can use. All right, so I just checked and it looks like a 5 8 inch or a 16 millimeter socket works. For my toilet, I would need this longer type just because the bolt extends down. All right, so I'm gonna use the 5 8 inch because I already tested that. All right, basically just get that on there and it's actually loose enough that I can do that by hand. Okay, and once you do the initial loosening, then you can do the entire thing by hand. All right, pretty straightforward. I'm probably gonna move this toilet seat to my upstairs toilet since that one has a not as nice toilet seat. All right, so we're gonna take this out and then we should be able to remove this. I don't know why it's kind of stuck in there. You might have to kind of, okay, twist it around and there we go. So we got this piece out. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and this is why it was stuck. It has this thing to help hold it in place better, okay? So yeah, we're gonna do this on the other side, okay? And I'll be back. So I wanna make sure, looks like there's no right side forward or backwards for this, so we should be okay. Okay, again, we're doing this on the other side now. Let's see if I can show this, here we go. Sorry, it's hard to see what I'm recording. But same thing, get the socket on there and then loosen it up. All right, you get the idea. Take that off. All right, same thing. We're gonna take this thing out. Okay. Again, this one had those little things that hold it in place. So it's gonna be kind of tough. It helps to kind of twist this as you pull it up. There we go. There we go. So now I'm gonna put this together and I'll be back with the other piece. All right, so now to installing the toilet. First thing you wanna do is shut off the water, of course. All right, just make sure you twist it and close it completely. If you can't close it and it keeps leaking, that's okay because you're gonna use like a bucket to catch the water. Just make sure you, your bucket will hold enough water for you to complete the installation if it's gonna keep leaking. All right, I'm gonna set aside all these tools. Okay, next we're gonna remove this. Okay, so let's see here. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, so first I'm gonna see if I can remove this by hand. <laughs> And I can, okay, that's good. So we don't need to use tools, but if you do need to use tools, you can do what I said earlier, wrap this with paper and then get the pliers. Make sure it's kind of a thick layer of paper so it doesn't damage this piece, All right? But anyways, you should be able to loosen this by hand, just like this, and here you go. This is why we need the bucket, water's coming out here. Okay, if you want, you can kind of clean this off if there's gross stuff on it. So I'm gonna clean that and I'll be back and just use like an old toothbrush or some cloth or something, all right? Hold on, I'll be back. All right, so what I did was I turned the water on a little bit and held it over here and then I just brushed it with a toothbrush and some gray stuff came out, so yeah. All right, it's a good idea to clean that up. I also vacuumed a little bit of the hose so it didn't have as much dust on it, but I couldn't get all of it because it's such a tight area. So, all right, so we're gonna go on to... All right, next step, we're gonna install this piece this down here so just unbag this of course take the tape off all right Open that up Get that piece out all right so this has the nice twisting thing just like the other one Okay, let me see how I'm gonna show this. All right, so we got this piece. We're gonna install that on there. It says not to use, don't use the plumber's tape, that um, Teflon tape, and do not use a wrench, okay? So just hand tighten this, get that on there, okay? Twist it backwards to make sure it seats in properly, and then twist it the other way. Okay, so I don't know which way it wants this to face. Let's see if it shows on there at all it doesn't really I don't know if it matters but we can always move it around later so this is for the hose to the toilet seat so we're just going to tighten this I'm probably gonna ra rather have it facing backwards but we'll see if it will affect 
the thing. Okay, so we're just tightening this by hand. I'm twisting it this way so it kind of keeps this facing the right way, but okay, just tighten by hand. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna turn that over there. Okay, all right, then we'll grab this and we'll just put this onto this. Hopefully it will fit. Uh-oh, looks like it won't fit. It has this filter thing on there. So I don't know, I might have to take this filter piece off. Let me take a look real quick and I'll be back. All right, so it looks like it doesn't have to have this filter piece. So I'm gonna take this out. And as you can see, there's black stuff all over this. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn the water on, okay? I'm turning, I'm turning that, the water spout thing on, okay? And I'm gonna let it drip a little bit, and then I'm gonna take a toothbrush and clean that out because I don't want that stuff to go into the toilet seat, all right? If that gets in the toilet um, seat thing, it could clog it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that. That's what you see all that black water is, okay? So I'm gonna turn it this way, clean it up. All right, and then we're just gonna let this drain out a little bit. One thing you can do to kind of help with that is you can attach this first. So let's turn this off, okay? So I'm gonna attach the, the bottom piece first just to make sure so we don't get any of this old rubber stuff or you can just replace a new one to make sure that it doesn't have that issue. But I'm gonna attach this first, okay? Make sure you hand tighten it, tighten it pretty good. All right, so now that I got this on, any loose rubber piece, I'm gonna turn the water on and any loose rubber should just come out. So I'm gonna hold this and, oops, let it shoot out the side as well. Okay, there we go. And now any of that loose black rubbery stuff should be gone. So we should be good. I'm gonna turn the water back off. Okay, it's too bad I can't really use this anymore. Well, I guess maybe I can use it what will fit on this side, I don't know. Let me try and clean this out. Okay, I'm gonna clean this piece out now. I'm gonna use a toothbrush again. Okay, just use an old toothbrush. Try and clean this out. And I don't think you need this. This is to catch any larger stuff from going into the toilet spout thing. All right, I'm gonna clean this in the sink. I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Let's see if this piece will even fit on there. Not really. So I don't know if this will help. If I can, maybe I can fit that in and then just put this on. Okay, so this piece does fit in there. Okay, so this might have actually come with the toilet. I'm not sure. But uh, if I stick that there, it actually stays in place. So I'm gonna put that and then we'll go ahead and install this, okay? So let's go ahead and install this piece now. Hopefully it will fit with both. If it doesn't, then I just have to take that filter out. It looks like it won't fit with that filter piece. So let's take this filter out. Okay, we'll take that out. And we'll just have to do it without it, sorry. Okay, all right, we'll try, let me try one more time. Am I just doing this wrong? Nope. Okay, so this filter, we can't use it with this toilet seat thing, which I guess is okay because if it clogs the toilet seat, it's gonna clog the, or if it clogs this tank, then it's gonna clog the toilet seat, so I guess it doesn't matter. The filter really should be down here, but it won't let me fit that on there. So we're just gonna hand tighten this on now, okay? And it's already turning itself. You wanna make sure not to coil this wire to where it's bent, so make sure it's not getting bent, okay? All right, so let's see here. Can't do this with one hand, so I might have to put the phone down. I mean, you get, you get the idea. Let me make sure to twist this on. I like to twist it backwards, make sure it goes in properly first. So right now, there we go, okay. All right, and now we'll just tighten it up. I'm gonna have to dump that water out because it's full, but tighten this up. Okay, again, just by hand, don't use pliers. It doesn't need to be super tight. It has those rubber gaskets that will help. Okay. Turn this that way. 
Okay, so it looks like even if you have this all the way tightened, this piece can still turn. So don't worry too much if it's facing the wrong direction. You could always adjust it later. And make sure this one is tightened as well. Okay. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and install the next part. I'll be back. All right, so next we're gonna install this bracket. So just get it, fit it through these, the holes in the toilet, okay? So I don't know, this seems like it's gonna be tough to fit through. I don't know if we just force it down. There's these little round rubber ball pieces that, I don't know, it doesn't wanna go in. So I'm not sure. I might have to use two hands to do this. Let's see, how do we get that in? Or do I have to pull from below? No. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna push that in. Let me try with two hands. Um, I don't know where I can put the phone for this or my camera. Do I just push down on it really hard? Okay, I guess we can push it down really hard and it looks like it's going in. So just push it down and kind of wobble it around. Jeez, this is tough. All right, I don't know where I can put this. So just smush it down in there. Okay, there we go, it's going. You just have to push it down really hard. Okay, so there's the two more ball things up there. There's also some pieces of tape here, so we're going to peel this off, okay? I don't know why this tape is here, but we're going to peel it out. Okay, it's on both sides. All right, hold on, I'll be back. I'm getting messy. Once you get everything plugged in, just make sure to turn the water back on. All right, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to turn this off because it's not going to work for my toilet, so I'm going to return this. And yeah, so hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others so they can also fix their computers and also install this kind of stuff from Costco. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Sorry about that. I had a customer come to the door. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and pull this up. Again, I'm going to try and slide it over. So instead of five notches, it'll be three. We'll see here can't really do this with one hand but I'm pulling up this metal piece while I slide this back okay so let's see so we got here one two three and then it's in that slot I'm gonna try and move it one more just to see if I can okay so just like that now we got in the long one Did I do too many whoops too many let's move that back okay one, two, three. Actually, no, let's do that. Sorry. Okay, so now there's only two gaps here and then the third one. So this one I'm going to try and move all the way to the back. I'm going to see if it's... Oh, I guess we can't. That's as far as it goes. So it only can go in with the one notch. And then this one is here. So I have to see if that's lined up straight. It's. it's I think it's a little bit crooked so I might have to move actually no that's pretty straight so I'll tighten the bolts again and then we'll take a look all right so after a bunch of testing it looks like I did have to just leave it with three I can move it one more forward so I think before I did like four so there's three blank ones and then that same thing with that three blank ones and that because if I do it the other way it's crooked so I had to do it that way and then the other one hits the toilet all right, so we're going to reinstall the seat. Okay, you already saw how to do that. Just lift the seat from the back, not from the lid. All right, and just slide it into place. Make sure you slide it all the way. So it does help to kind of push down here to slide it in. Oh, it doesn't want to go in now. You might have to pull it back forward one more. All right, hold on. I'll do that, and then we'll see. Okay, never mind. I was able to get it. I just pushed on the bottom here like this with the lid up and then pushed it all the way back. And now it's locked tight in place. All right. So what I'm going to have to do, because see if somebody's thing is too long, it's because we don't have the elongated toilet. So I need some kind of barrier here that will just let the piss go down here. So... I don't know, either that or I have to try and find a shorter version of this. Alright, so I'll be back. 
All right, so next we're gonna undo all the um, hoses and cables here. Okay. Tape this all up. I'm not sure how you get this out. Let's see, you might have to just tear it and cut it with scissors because I can't find a way. Oh, here's a piece of the tape. Okay, let's try and peel it. Nope. All right, so if I can't get this out, we're going to have to just get some scissors or knife or something, but let's see. All right, looks like that came out. Let's take off. Okay, just unwrap it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, get this, there's a rubber band on it, so we're just gonna pull this hose out and we're gonna attach it. So again, this toilet isn't an elongated one, so I'm gonna have to find a way to just fill this gap and then add some rubber pieces. But if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna return it and try and see if they have a smaller version, because I didn't see a smaller version. Costco was just selling this elongated one. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and get the hose. And because it kind of wraps around all weird, let's see if I can get it to go this way. Okay, might have to use two hands for this, so I, I'll do that and I'll be back. All right, so I tucked the hose behind this piece and then I'm gonna try and wrap it this way, all right? Oops, sorry, just like that. And now we're just gonna tighten it on, make sure that it's going on straight and not at a weird crooked angle. Okay, so I might have to undo it real quick. Do it backwards until you feel it go into place. Let's see here, let me attach this better first. All right, and then we'll tighten this on. Feels like it's going crooked, so I have to make sure it's going on straight. Hmm. This thing is difficult to get it on the right way. So I might have to use two hands for this. I don't know if I can record that. So I'll be back. I'm going to screw that on and I'll be back. All right, so I figured it out. So first thing you want to do, make sure this piece goes in all the way. All right, it should slide in like that. And then you should be able to tighten this on. All right, again, I don't want this facing out this way. So I'm gonna turn this inwards, okay? Just like this. All right, there we go. So now the cabling is more hidden. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in the power cable. All right, let's get that. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so here it just says make sure to plug in to 120 volt ground and whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out. There we go. Let's take the rubber band off. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna see if this plug reaches. And it's short by like five inches. So we're gonna have to get an extension cable and then we'll continue this later. Okay, so if we're going based off of this, so if I put the ruler here and then we go to the edge of this piece, all right, so it's already like 29 millimeters, which is, if you look at the notches here, so there's this long notch across, one, two, three, four, five, and then it's in this sixth groove up here. So it's already like that from the factory, I think. So I don't really understand what they're asking you to measure, but um, yeah, I don't know in what, in what instance would you slide this forward or back. I'm guessing if your toilet is too short, like this one isn't the long toilet, maybe we'll see. I might have to adjust it forward or backwards. So, all right, let's go ahead and look at the next set of instructions. So here it says, take a look at this, make sure it's lined up. Okay, they show the notches here. 29 millimeters see it doesn't show from the toilet it says from this bracket so that doesn't really change anything so i don't know why they didn't just make it always in that position it doesn't make sense to me all right anyways step five it tells you to tighten the bolt and that's going to pull the rubber piece up and it'll expand those rubber pieces to make it harder to come out so here it says step six c1 a7 where Okay, this is A7 is that, C1 is the toilet, okay, 
Make sure it cannot be removed if pulled. Hmm. Okay, so after that we're going to already install the thing. So let's tighten down the screws. And it shows here when you tighten it down, it'll be flush with the toilet seat. So right now there's a gap. So let's see if that's the case. We got that. Switch hands so I can show this better. Okay, let's go ahead and get the screwdriver. And we're just going to tighten this down. Okay. Keep tightening it. I use my drill for this it'd be so much easier okay I mean you get the point I don't know if there's let me I guess I'll put it here and see if I can show this so I can do it faster okay I do feel it's pulling up that rubber piece all right you get the idea if you want you can fast forward through this part all right, it's pretty flush, but not completely, so I'm going to do it until it's kind of tight. I don't know if it they didn't say how tight to do it. Right now it's kind of moving around, so I'm going to tighten it some more. Okay. There we go, it's pretty tight. We're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Stand up and do it over here. can do this with a drill, just make sure not to over tighten it because then you can probably crack the porcelain. Okay, probably should have just used the drill for this, but whatever. Hand tightens good so you can feel if you're over tightening or not. Okay, it's pretty solid there. It still wiggles a bit, so I'm going to just keep tightening. What's this white? Oh, they put some grease there. Okay. There's some lithium grease on this plastic piece. Or silicone grease, I don't know. Alright, it's getting there. So that's pretty tight now. But I think, I don't know, I'm just going to keep tightening it and see if it ever gets to where I can't tighten it anymore. Okay. It's getting kind of tough. All right, so we're probably good there. It's very solid. This side is loose in comparison. We're gonna keep tightening this. All right. I don't know how tight this needs to be, but it's pretty good. Okay. Check this side. Okay, that's pretty tight fit, so it should be good, all right, yep, all right, so we got that screwed in, all right, let me show you the next steps. All right, so now that everything is flush here, we're going to go ahead and get the toilet thing and slide it into place. Let's do that. All right, open up the box. Again, you don't want to lift it out by the toilet seat, you want to lift it by the back, so let's open this up. I'm probably going to need two hands, so I don't know if I can show this part. We'll see what I can do. Okay, we're going to lift it up from the back here. Yeah, I can't do this with one hand, so you'll, you'll get the idea. I'm going to pause this here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'll put this here. Lift this thing out. We'll undo the plastic here. Okay. So you can see everything, put that plastic, toss it aside. It looks like there's nothing else in the box. So we'll just get off all the plastic stuff here. Okay, so let's see. On the bottom side, all right, there's some tape in here. I don't know if you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and take this tape out. Um, Okay, maybe I should leave that for now. So it has these metal latches here. So it looks like when you slide it in, it's actually gonna just latch on. So let me see if I can show this here. All right. So I just placed it on the toilet right now. Okay. Let me close this box, get it out of the way. All right. So I got this piece. I'm gonna put the phone up here. 
to my camera. Let's see if I can prop it up with something. Like that, maybe. Okay, so it looks like you just line it up. Okay, I can do this. Oops, that's on here now. So we'll just line this up. Okay, we got it on the toilet and we're just gonna slide it over. Huh, it didn't lock. Do I need to push here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so you pushed it and it's locked in place. There you go, it opens up like this. You can even see in here some warnings. Let me turn this splash off. Okay. All right, so we got that. So I guess we'll peel this off. It didn't say what to do with this, but I'm pretty sure you just peel it off. Okay. All right, there's a little foam piece as well. So we'll peel that off, throw that aside, and here's a little flap. I guess that thing will come out by itself. All right, so then it says to test, make sure the toilet won't move around. Um, this is what I was worried about. So our toilet isn't a long one. So here you can see this extends here. So I don't know if, and it looks crooked for some reason. So if we look here, there's a small gap here and there's a bigger gap here. So I'm gonna adjust those screw mounts and see if I can make it go more straight. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna, let me see how I can take this thing off and I'll be back. All right, I was trying to figure out how to remove the toilet. So I read the booklet and there's this button here on the side right below this deodorizer door or filter door. So you push that and then once you push that button, you can actually slide the whole toilet forward. Okay, so hold on, I'll be back. I'm gonna take this thing out and I'll show the rest. Okay, so if I look here, I can actually see it's crooked. So I'm gonna try and slide this back at least another one or two notches and then I'm gonna move this one back even more. So we'll see if that can help with the gap because this isn't an elongated toilet. All right, so we'll try that real quick. I'm gonna loosen the bolts and I'll be back. So I'm gonna try and finish putting this piece in. Hopefully I don't drop my phone in the toilet. <laughs> But let's see. All right. I'm dropping my phone in the toilet, just like I said. All right, hold up. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Let's try and push this thing all the way in. Come on. I don't get it. Okay, I think once you get this side in like this, I think when you screw it down, this, these instructions... They need to have like some worded instructions. So I guess here it's showing like you'll have this gap here and then when you tighten it, it'll be flat. But I'm not sure because I don't think the screw is gonna pull it all the way down. So I think I do have to do this by hand first. All right, hold on, I'll be back. All right, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I'm gonna try pulling it from the bottom. Kind of looks like it's working. I'm just using my hands to pull this piece down. So let me try and pull it down while pushing down with my other hand. Do they expect people to have like super wide toilet bowl holes or something? Because this is crazy. Okay, so it is going in, but not as far as I would hope. At least I don't think. I think it's supposed to go all the way in. So, I don't know. This is super difficult to do. Okay. Looks like it's in for the most part. All right. So we're gonna do the same with the other side. Push down on top and pull from the other side. I need more room in this bathroom. Let me turn this box around. Pull this down while pushing from the top. You kind of have to wiggle it around. The instructions aren't clear, so I'm not sure if this is necessary. But I'm gonna assume it is. Okay. I'm guessing newer toilets won't have this issue, but I don't know. Jeez, okay, I don't know. 
The other side looks like it's seated all the way. My right hand's not strong. Whew. This is tiring. Okay, let's see. So, I don't know. Just keep pulling and twisting and wiggling this thing around. I don't know what's going on here. Come on. Let's try loosening the screw a little bit. Whew. Get my screwdriver. All right, I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit. I don't think that will do anything. Come on, rubber piece. Oh, there we go. Okay, it helped. I had to loosen it and then you rock Let's see if I can show here. So this rubber, I was just rocking it back and forth like this while I pushed it down. Okay. And it looks like that got it as far as it goes. Okay, so I'm not sure I understand the next instructions. Hold on, I'll show you. All right, so here it shows. Look, this doesn't make sense. So from the front here, so that's 29 millimeters from the front to this bolt, okay? And here they're showing this. So if you unscrew this, you can actually lift this piece up. Let me show you here. So if you undo this screw, you can lift this metal piece up and you can actually slide this forward and backwards. And it says 29 millimeters from here to here. So I don't know what's the point of having this because there's no way, like, no matter where you install because of that, it's always gonna be 29 millimeters. So I'm not sure what they're measuring exactly. That doesn't make sense. So let's see here, I'm gonna get them. 